<laughs> Go ahead. When you said, are we allowed to take pictures? No. No. Okay. no. Had, Donald Jackson does the one. Film. He's the artist, but he does this calligraphy too. Yes. He is the one that trained them. Yes. Correct. And he correct. is the one that's the Queen of England. Right. Exactly. Would that be the scribe? Scribe. The Queen of England so scribe? anytime there's an official pronouncement, he's the one who handwrites that pronouncement. But it seems like, well, he got the title of artist because he's an artist. He's too, I guess. actually the, his official title of the St. John's Bible is artistic director. So he, he, he's the one who everything goes through from the calligraphers to the artist back to St. John's and then back through him. You know. And so most of the pages were done by other scribes, not him. A combination. In fact, what's, what's really interesting, and, and we can look at this page, uh, um, while the, the script is to be as uniform as possible, you can notice the different stylistic flares of the artists within the script. So the way they emphasize or trail off uh, on, on the bottom part of a particular letter um, may, be, may be different. I saw an exhibit where they actually point this out at St. John's when I was up there this fall, where they actually point out, here's, here's one scribe's stylistic flares, here's another scribe's stylistic flares. I think one on the P, because Sue does a lighter yeah, tail. Yeah, exactly. The other aspect that I, I was just explaining to another couple that came up, um, the, the Bible is copyrighted. And as such, the, the owners of the new Revised Standard Version copyright wanted the paragraphs in there. And the scribes were like, you want me to do what? <laughs> Start a new line. Like I said, it takes about eight hours to do one page of text. So the compromise they came up with was these alternating blue and red kites or these blue and red diamonds mark where the paragraphs ought to be. Um, but part of that compromise was also to handwrite and include the footnotes within the, um, within the marginalia as well. Here's the Ten Commandments. Uh, and um, one of you was asking about other artist ideas or, or, or theology. This is done by Tom Ingmeyer, who is, uh, at, it's my understanding, an avowed agnostic. So he's not a Christian or, or a believer, really. But again, he's not doing it from his own perspective. He's doing it with his artistic skills influenced by the Committee on Illumination and Text. And so here you have the Ten Commandments, but you'll notice in gold at the very top, you have the, the prologue to the Ten Commandments. Here I am, the God of your fathers, I am the Lord your God. And the commandments all kind of stem from that. His point is, and the theological point here is, if we forget that God is God, then these are just good rules. And, and they, be, they can become legalistic. And so we always have to remember the primacy of God being God when we read the Ten Commandments. That's what makes it covenantal, so to speak. And, and that's how that works. Um, this particular illumination can be read from the top down or the bottom up. If you read it from the top down, it emphasizes the primacy of God being God. And the further away we get, the more chaos enters into it. If you read it from the top up, the, you start in chaos. And as order kind of develops in, in society, we come to know God as, as being God. Now this illumination doesn't just portray the Ten Commandments. It portrays basically the entire story of the book of Exodus. So you have um, these panels again. In this panel, you ha in the first panel on the left, you have the burning bush. Moses, the God appearing to Moses in the burning bush. In the second panel, you have the Passover uh, or the sacrifice. <coughs> in the third panel, you have the passing through the waters of the Red Sea. And in the final panel, you've got the triumphal entry into Jerusalem and the establishment of the, of the 12 pillars or the 12 tribes of Israel. So again, the, this particular illumination is, is the centrality of the covenant of Israel around the, the, the exodus and the, and the development of the temple.